Uh, hello everyone. Um, thank you for coming to the concert. I hope you guys are um, all having a really wonderful time. Um, yeah, we're just so excited to be performing for you guys. Uh, we just hope that we can get you guys into the spirit of this season. Uh, the spirit of, uh, that gives us a little more joy than we usually have. The spirit that gathers families together, carrying warmth and comfort. Uh, just the spirit and joy of Christmas. Oftentimes, uh, I just feel like year after year, I get busier and busier, and it's harder to get into the Christmas mood, but um, time and time again, I'm reminded of the true meaning of Christmas, and it brings me so much joy um, to be able to share with you what that is. Um, we have the most amazing gifts that no one has ever asked for, um, and that's why we celebrate Christmas. Um, you guys hear the songs about Him every single Christmas season. Yes, this amazing gift came in the form of a little baby known as Jesus. Now, how can a baby we've never even seen before be the most amazing gift? Isn't a gift supposed to show like, the thought and the care from the gift giver? How can this be the most amazing gift? Well, oftentimes, uh, we don't realize how amazing a gift is until uh, we have it, until we can enjoy it. Um, since the beginning of time, when God, holy, perfect, and just all-loving God created this world, He also created us in His image, meaning that we can pursue a relationship with Him. Um, and that was wonderful. But we as humans were selfish. We thought we could know everything there is to know on our own. And because of that, we rejected God's love. We rejected God's help. Um, and now, we have committed so many wrongs. Now we're, we are people who aren't perfect because we have um, turned our trust away from God and towards ourselves. To put this in perspective, my slightest pride in thinking that I'm better at singing than someone, or like my frustration in um, that my BCAP order is taking too long. <laughs> those are both sins, and those are both deserving of judgment. Um, the book of Matthew states that the hatred in anger and, and the hatred in, in murder, those hatreds are equal, and they're both deserving and liable to judgment. In acknowledging every particle of sin, it's, it is impossible for us to be the best person we can be and still be separate from sin. It is a part of us, and it's something we can never shake off. But uh, Romans 3 states that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Romans 6 adds to this saying that the wages of sin is death. That is what we deserve. But the gift of God is eternal life. See, God is also a God of boundless mercy, um, endless grace. And He sent His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. See, God sent His Son, Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God, into this world, born as a baby, um, and His birth was a birth not deserving of a true king. See, He was born in a manger with farm animals. He was born from a lineage of terrible, dishonorable sinners, yet He walked a perfect life, uh, loving and humble, uh, walking among men as fully man and fully God. He was speaking truth and truth, um, showing love um, and being the example for all of us um, because He came down to be our Savior. But people despised Him, they hated Him, they persecuted Him, and they nailed Him to a cross. Not knowing that the one that they were killing is the very gift that was meant to save them. However, it is through this cross that Jesus Christ um, sacrificed His life for us, meaning that our sins were put onto Jesus, God's wrath that, and punishment that was supposed to be for us was put onto Jesus, and in exchange, we have been clothed with the righteousness of Jesus, His perfection. And thankfully, by the power of God, Jesus did not stay dead, but He resurrected. And because of this, we can be sure that He paid for all of our sins. If He stayed dead, we would never know. And if we, he stayed dead, what does, our, what does being saved really mean? Luckily, we don't have to ponder with that because we know that he's resurrected. We can be assured that we are free from the captivity of sin. We can be sure that we can have a relationship with God again because in God's eyes, Jesus has paid for our sins. We are clothed with Jesus' righteousness and his perfection. And because of that, and only because of that, we can have a relationship with God again and spend eternity with Him in heaven.
And this is only possible through um, having faith. Um, what does that mean? It is turning away from trusting ourselves, the very thing that broke our relationship with God in the first place. Turning that trust from ourselves towards God. Turning our obedience, not towards ourselves, but towards God. Um, and God has given us forgiveness in Jesus if we ask. Um, God is so loving towards us in that way. And this is why it's a wonderful gift. Because we know that we can't do anything to um, by ourselves to say that we're, we're not sinners. Um, and this is why we celebrate Christmas, because um, we know that it was the birth of a, of a baby who is our Savior. Um, and it is a glorious occasion because of that. Um, so, uh, if you have not heard the gospel before, if this is your first time, or if you're have questions about what it means to be saved, I encourage you to talk to the people who invited you out today um, and ask them what the joy is of knowing Jesus, um, what the joy is in following Him, um, because he is, he is our endless joy and He is our everlasting life. So I invite you to continue to celebrate with us and rejoice with us um, with this next song. Um, it is Before the Throne, a wonderful hymn. Um, and it perfectly describes the character of Jesus being our perfect plea. Um, he was a sinless Savior who died so that our sinful souls can be counted free. Um, and this is just the amazing news that we want to share with you and what makes Christmas so, so special. So, um, yeah, I hope that you come to experience this joy like I have and countless others have had in this room um, for this Christmas season and every Christmas season.